thought you was just gonna have a dream and a goal and you was just gonna wake up and just walk into the sunset. It don't work like that. We back, Twin, we back. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. If y'all have no idea who I am, my name is David Perkins. I'm a content creator, I'm an athlete. I was put on God's big, green, beautiful earth to motivate y'all to do better, man. Welcome back. Before we get started with anything, bro, <coughs> we broke 10,000 subs. We broke 10,000 subs two weeks ago. But nonetheless, we broke 10K subs, man. I appreciate you guys so much. I thank you guys so much for constantly supporting me, constantly showing me love, constantly giving me the motivation to continue to put my life on the internet, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate you guys so much just just for allowing me to be me. I feel like a lot of times as a content creator, someone who's made like a substantial platform, it's so hard to like maintain your own like authenticity, your own character, your own values, your own morals, go and I'm uh, your own morals, bro. And for my lady, sis. But I appreciate y'all for fucking with me for so long, man. Uh, this video is long overdue, don't get me wrong. I was supposed to do this shit like two weeks ago, but I got something planned for you. I got something planned for y'all and I got something else planned that's really, really big because... It's the season of giving. At the end of the day, it's the season of giving. It's the end of the year. It's the end of the fourth quarter diaries. If you guys also saw the intro to this video, it's the, it's the last chapter of the fourth quarter diaries, bro. The year is over within two weeks. The Christmas is my fucking nine days, bro. Got some shit planned for you guys. I got some things to talk about for the giveaway. I got some things to talk about, you know, business-wise. I got some shit I want to do. I am going to do it on camera, but it was like one of the things that, you know, I was given an, a great idea by my girlfriend and she... Thought it would be best if I did da da da. So we gonna do da da da. But I gotta take y'all with me to get da da da. So we can do da da. You feel me? So let's get the let's get the vlogs done, right? Broke this down into three categories just to make it easy to explain so I don't gotta do a whole lot of rambling. We're gonna talk about business real quick, talk about the giveaway, and talk about this vlog, what this vlog is about. So yeah, yeah, business first. This is real short and simple, but I've managed it now. I spent my whole entire content creation, my content creative entrepreneurship career you know, managing myself. So like I would never really trusted anybody to manage me and like I didn't really know what like the process consisted of. Um, but a good friend of mine recommended his manager to me. We had a meeting and it just like, I think for me, one of the things like that prevented me from acquiring a manager was like trusting someone uh to like help me like not even really like help me get like acquire more brand deals but just like help me as like an individual i wanted to be more than just like a manager to client relationship and the person that i had a meeting with it just like she a she a dog like a dog dog for real. like we, we talk on a daily basis i'm already locked into a dove campaign for the start of next year she already like it's just it's, just, it's love so i gotta manage so business out the way. So now, giveaway information. So you guys know, I broke 10K subs, which again, I thank y'all so much for the love, for the support, and all, everything I said this morning. I thank y'all. I'm gonna pick two winners after I get, I'll give some details at the end of the video, but I'm gonna pick two winners essentially to win like an I Am David Perkins mystery box. And it'll be like things that I think you guys would love. So like a couple items from like my sponsors, like gear, drip, shirts, socks, hats, whatever. Um, I'm definitely gonna put a gift card in there for a couple of, couple little bucks you feel me so you guys can go ahead and spend money wherever you want to spend money at also my own personalized custom journal so you guys know i'm a big fan of journaling and i feel like you know for those of you guys who do take you know your mental health and like your mental progress as serious as i do you guys know i journal all the time so i went ahead and got a, a few more of these custom made look it says i am on it because again i am uh customized journals i'm gonna put these two in there for the two winners um and also a couple other things so like those winners will be selected. I'll give all that information at the end, but that's what the giveaway is going to consist of. It's going to be some drip, some mental drip, a little money, a little gift card, or whatever. I might throw a couple of things in there, like, you know, a or something like that. But again, it's going to be an I Am David Perkins mystery box for the two winners. And it's just a way so I can show my love to you guys for supporting me. I felt like it would have been weird if I just did, like, a, you know, Starbucks gift, like gift card giveaway or, like, a, I don't know, I like give you guys some. Like, it's just, I want it to be a little bit more personal because I rock with y'all and y'all rock with me. Like, we. Go like this. We like we locked in. You know what I mean? So now that's out the way. Business is out the way. 
giveaway out the way for now. Now, what is this vlog about? So it's the season of giving, obviously as you guys already know. Why not give back? Like the reason this vlog took so long was cause like I had to try to figure out a way for me to give back to like my community or give back to the people without like getting scrutinized for doing it on camera. You know how people get when you like, well you only giving back cause you feel like that. I'm not doing that shit for the views. It's not for the views. It's like, I don't wanna just give back to you guys. Cause you guys obviously support me, but like there's other people who are less fortunate in this time of the year. It's Christmas. Thanksgiving just passed. People didn't spend Christmas and Thanksgiving and had no food, no blankets, no gloves, no nothing. It's been real key cold. Well, it's not cold in California, but still, like you know, the less fortunate. You feel me? So what I'm gonna do today? What we're gonna do today? Because we are a unit, we're gonna go gather a couple things, get a couple like you know, nice essential bags together, and give up, give a few out to the homeless. I feel like I gotta do my part. And like one thing that I feel like I want to set a standard with this channel is I don't want to just be somebody to motivate you guys to do better in the gym or like motivate you on your like entrepreneurial journey like I want you to be better human I was put here to teach y'all how to be a better human you know whether that be hygiene whether that be just on some like mental type shit whether that be a gym it don't matter no matter like that's my job that's my I'm doing my due diligence I'm doing my one and 1.6 billion if as a human being and that's what we're doing today so in a couple hours I'm gonna shower put clothes on whatever we'll go to the store and get a couple things I want to get like you know waters and gloves and beanies and maybe if I can find like some blankets and stuff and I'm not gonna do too much I'm not giving out to 100 homeless people because I ain't got the bread like that <laughs> what we're gonna do is gonna get a couple bags together and things and just pass them out I think I'm gonna try to get the homies to come with me tomorrow morning um but we'll see on that but that's what this vlog is about today it's like the end this I'm closing out the fourth quarter diaries chapter with a nice like wholesome vibes you feel me because I feel like I've been blessed I've been blessed like beyond measures, just to have a platform the way I do, to have a roof over my head, to have the things that I have, to have a partner, to have relationships that I do have. Um, and I know there's people who don't have that. So that's what this vlog is really. I'm really just kind of, you know, trying to trying to give my last final efforts and cross all my T's and dot all my I's and being me. And I don't know, I don't know, bro. You feel me? I don't know. So let's go take a shower. Uh, I got to change these clothes out. You feel me? And then we're gonna get the, we're gonna get the vlog started. But y'all saw it. I was in the gym. <laughs> All right, let's go shower. Let's go. All right, so the game plan is pretty simple. I'm gonna go to the dollar store. I made a list of things that I wanna get. So I wanna get like beanies and gloves and maybe like some some like throw blankets. Like things that people can like, not people, things that the homeless can like pack up with them and take them with them wherever they go. Cause the, the, the homeless people out here in LA, they be rolling kinda deep. They got forts and, and, and some people got tote bags and backpacks and grocery carts and the whole nine, you feel me? So we gonna keep it real simple for them or I'm gonna try to keep it real simple for them. I've never actually done anything like charity oriented before so this will be the first time i'm ever like doing something but again i do want to start doing this like every year so like next year i want to go bigger this year i'm gonna pick like maybe maybe five ten people ten like goodie bags next year i want to do bigger go 20 go 30 a year after that go 100 get 100 start donating to charity start you know the whole night this is like the start of something so let's go to the dollar store first I gotta go to two dollar stores. I know I'm gonna have to go to two. I'm gonna go to the first one to get like beanies and 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 the whole nine and blankets and shit. I'm gonna go to the other one to get like you like uh what do you call them? Essentials, essentials. So like toothbrushes, maybe I don't know. Do homeless people brush their teeth? Like that's that's a weird question. Do homeless people brush their teeth? Who knows, bro? Anyways, let's get on. All right, so boom, just got to the dollar store. As a matter of fact, right over here is the beanies. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab 10 beanies real quick. I'm gonna do 10 baskets. I was going, I was thinking about doing five, but I'm gonna do 10 baskets. So I'm gonna grab 10 of these. I probably shouldn't get no red beanies because y'all know how LA, no, yeah, yeah, that should be fine. I'm gonna just get a bunch of beanies, bro. I grabbed 10 gray beanies. I managed to find all gray ones. Now I'm getting blankets. I'm gonna go 10. Like, I think they have like wood right here. Dog, see, see, if it's one thing that y'all gonna know about me, dog, I'm a genius, bro. I'm a genius. They got wool blankets right here for the low. So I'm gonna grab 10 blankets. Um, I wanna get all black, but if I can't get all black, I'm gonna just get assortments, bro. Two. Oh, shit. Don't put anything on the floor, man. I'm tripping.
All right, so two things. I was gonna get socks, but I don't really know how I feel about getting socks. I just feel like, you know, socks would be like, use well, nothing is necessarily useless because they're homeless. Yeah, I I'm just, whatever, whatever. I'm gonna see if I can find socks somewhere else, but I'm gonna get gloves. They don't have gloves here. Run back into the front. Yeah, you see I'm trying to talk? Oh, damn, but <laughs> anyways, I'm not gonna get gloves. I'm not gonna get socks either. I'm gonna just avoid that. Um, I do wanna see if they have like a little toiletry, like, you know, a little toothbrush set here. Uh-oh. You good? Go ahead. Uh, let me see. They don't have like the toothpaste toothbrush set, do they? Is it right here? Nope, they don't. I'm gonna have to go to CVS and get that. You know, like a little tooth. I don't. Then again, it's different. See, this is one thing I, I'm kind of like I'm torn between because I don't necessarily know. Like homeless people obviously need anything, but do they need everything? That's like the my big dilemma. Cause like again, I've been blessed enough to where. You know, if I need toothpaste and then a toothbrush, I would need it. You feel me? I know, and I know I can use it because I got a space to use it. But they don't necessarily, you know. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna just I'm gonna, if I get it, I'm gonna get it. If I don't, I don't. Whatever. So let me check this out right here. Which again, so far, ten blankets, ten beanies. I'm gonna go to another store, and I'm gonna see if I can get toiletry kits, gloves, um, and then I already got a case of water at the crib, and then I think I'm gonna get some fresh food. Not like fresh. Eh, we'll see. We'll see. Food. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see. But let me check this out right now. Uh, yes, please. Honestly, I have 10 of those blankets. Okay. And then I have 10 of these beanies. Okay. So. All right. So now we're heading over to the other dollar store where I hopefully can grab at least some gloves, bro. Like, I'm sitting here and I'm checking out right now and I'm just thinking about, like, how this is going to make me feel. And, like, I've been trying to, like, grasp the idea of what I actually am doing right now. Because I've never done this before. I've always, like, tried to overextend myself, you know, for my friends and whatnot. But I've never actually, like, given back to someone who was less fortunate. And, like, that, for me at least, is I've got this, like, warm feeling in me, gang. And I just don't even know how to explain it. It's just, like, I feel good. And, like, I'm not trying to make myself look good. Or, like, I'm not trying to make myself feel good. It was just, like, an idea. You know, I talked to Leslie about it. And she was just like, yo, why don't you just do this? Like, I already planned on trying to give back in some way, shape, or form. Um, because I wanted to make this a lot bigger than just me giving back to you guys i wanted to make it more so like i'm so grateful for everything that i've accomplished and everything that i have that i want to give more back um and this is like the best way i can do it that's like you know within my budget i'm not fucking rich bro i'm not trying to say i can blow a thousand dollars and give back to like a you know a shelter or you know those are things that are going to come down the line but this is like the starting point of just like hey i got a couple extra dollars you feel me let me just go give back to the people who don't have bro like eighty dollars for some blankets and some beanies. I probably spend another twenty dollars, thirty dollars on some, you know, some some gloves and water and you know other shit like that. Like that's just gonna go a long way. And like, just I'm always reminded. I'm kind of always reminded how grateful I am. And I know at times I get like super. You feel me? You know, like I, I don't know how to say. I don't know the right verbiage for it, but I get like you know, I be getting ungrateful and, in, and impatient because I'm not where I want to be and I don't got what I want and like. Bro, this type of shit is gonna like remind me that like, yo, you know, you got everything that you need. You know, God gonna give you everything that you want. But right now, you got everything that you need and then some, bro. So let this is, to me, this is like, this is how I wanted to end my year. This is what the fourth quarter was about, gang. Like, not only was it finishing strong, but it's also like allowing yourself to see who you are, see your character, see your like your morality. You feel me? And. I just, bro, I just, this is, I feel good, dog. Like, I just, I don't even know how to explain it, bro. I'm, 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 now I'm rambling and shit, but I don't know how to explain it, bro. Don't mind the mess. It's, just ignore the mess. So I picked everything up for the giveaway, essentially, for tomorrow. I ended up picking up 10 blankets, 10 gray beanies, 10 Christmas bags, and inside these Christmas bags, I'm gonna put 10 water bottles per bag, a Lunchable, and maybe some, like, maybe, like, a McDonald's, breakfast sandwich or something like that. I don't know. But let's get these all organized first and then that's pretty much it. Pretty much it for the vlog. The, the, the main part of this vlog was just to get everything assorted first and then tomorrow I'll give it away tomorrow morning. So let's put it together.
time is now. The car is packed. The gift bags are ready to be delivered. And now we gotta drop them off. I feel like I was thinking about that this morning. You know when like you are about to experience something new for the first time and you try to like get a grip on how you actually feel. I don't know how I feel, dog. I don't I've never done this before. I've never been someone who was like so eager to give back. Just because like Keep it a buck, nigga. I ain't, like, for me to give back and I don't really got it like that is crazy. And, like, I'm not saying that's, like, that's not something you should be doing. But I felt compelled to do it. When I heard the idea, I'm like, bro, this is such a great idea. And then, like, I spent some time, like, trying to note, like, what things I should get. That's, like, again, not putting me in a place where, like, I'm, you know, SOL. But, like, at the same time, I still want to be able to give back to those who cannot and, like, do not have. Like, that's just, I feel like that's something we all should be trying to do at some point in time in our life. Especially if we're trying to, like, evolve as humans. Like, there's this whole, there's this big dilemma with, like, giving back to people who are less fortunate because you may not have it and like just because you may not have it all you still got it and that's kind of what like i'm trying to get myself to understand like mentally so um i was gonna do foods i just don't feel like i don't know bro i don't want to like i'm not one i don't feel like spending a hundred dollars on no breakfast food i could get donuts but like is that really something that a homeless person would want maybe but like I don't know, dog. I don't know. I'm just, I'm in a weird spot where, like, I'm I'm super proud of the bags, and I'm super proud of what's in the bags, and I feel like those are things that are, like, essential. Like, if they, you know, I'm not gonna sit here and complain about, like, I didn't get them food, so I ain't shit. Like, that's gotta be crazy. And for a homeless person to tell me that I'm not shit because I ain't giving no food is wild, considering they ain't got much. So, let's go drop these bags off. Um, I don't really know how I'm supposed to film this, honestly, because I don't really got nobody with me. So, I'm gonna just... I might just go handheld, honestly, and just, like, deliver the bags. I might set up my tripod and show a couple, like, interactions or whatever. But besides that, bro, I'm going to just drop them off. If, if that, and if I don't find anybody to drop them off to, but like, I see they got, like, their little one-two set up, I might just drop a bag by it type shit. But that's it, dog. Let's get up. Let's get up out of here. Oh, I also, I'm also dumb tired, bro, because I kind of, like, low-key couldn't sleep last night. So before we get out of here, breakfast for champions, you feel me? Shout out Lonnie for the... But a pack. They also sent me a DM saying they're sending me another peach pack. So shout out Lonnie Gang. Mm. Oof. That first sip will do. Oof. Shit. That first sip will do to you every time. All right. Let's light about it, guys. <laughs> All right, I'm nervous right now, but I got my, I got the first person. Obviously, I see. I'm gonna just set my camera up on the tripod from a distance and just walk over and give it to him. So whew, bear with me. <laughs> I hope y'all can hear me, bro. My heart is beating so fast right now, gang. Holy shit. All right. Yo. Yo. I just want to give this to you. Here you go. Merry Christmas, all right? Thank you. No, of course. Here you go. I got something for you guys, man. All right, Merry Christmas. You guys be safe, all right? Thank you. There you go. That's for you. That's for you. Appreciate it. Okay. What's up? Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. What's your name? Dave. Dave, who, who are you doing this by? Just for me, man. Yeah. Likewise. Excuse me. I got something for you guys. You guys be safe, man. Merry Christmas, sir. Thank you. Of course. God bless you guys. Alright, I just got to my last location. I got two more bags left and I see two people. I'm gonna drop these off right now and then I'll be done. Man, I'm not gonna hold y'all. I could fucking cry right now, bro. I swear to God I could cry right now. It's just... I'll explain this later, but let me go drop these bags off first and then I'll get to how I feel afterwards, bro. I got something for you guys. Merry... Merry... Of course, Merry Christmas. You guys, you. you guys be safe, alright? Of course. Man. Man. Oh, man. That was crazy, bro. Just to, I don't, I took my time. I tried to figure out, you know, how to say whatever I wanted to say in like a clever, like unique way, but I don't, I'm literally at a loss for words, bro. One thing that I can say though, is that like, I would never complain if somebody gave something to me, bro. But as I'm walking away, one of the girls I gave it back to was like, you ain't got no gloves. And in my mind, I'm like, 
I should have tried harder to get gloves, bro. Because I, I knew, I knew exactly what the gloves were going to do. I drove by down another street, and the homie I gave it back to originally already had the beanie on. Like, that type of shit. I can't even, I don't know, bro. I'm At this point, I'm just rambling, so I'm going to just kind of cut it short. But that is like an, I'm going to remember this feeling forever. Um, I don't know what to say, bro. That shit is crazy. This is wild. Let me go home. But, nigga, it's a season for giving. And I feel like... What I just did right now really was, it was monumental for my soul, man. Like, I don't even, again, I, at this point, I'm just rambling. All this shit is off the top of my head, so I'm going to just kind of speak from my heart, in a sense. But, you know when you just, like, I've been blessed, dog. Like, I've been blessed beyond measure just to be able to be in this spot, bro. I got a car I get to drive. I got a place I can go to. The place looks as aesthetically appealing to the, you know, to the public eye. I got two dogs. I got a beautiful partner. I got parents. I got, like, friends that truly truly appreciate me for who i am like dog that is like dog i find myself complaining all the time you know like ah, i wish i could ah, i wish i could get the ah, i wish i could get a new car like bro this is like a reminder that like bro you got it dog i got it and like if you're watching this and i guess if you can relate to this in some way shape or form bro i just want you to remind you like bro look around you dog if you have the opportunity to watch this video dog you're blessed beyond any measure bro beyond any measure you have the access to sit down, cut this on a TV, on your phone, or on a, you know, on a tablet or iPad and watch this, John, bro. You are blessed beyond measure. And I don't want that to go over your head. Like, that's the truth, bro. Like, I know when we, when we have what we need but not what we want, we start to get a little, like, you know, like, I don't want to say it's not, like, a practical to feel that way. But, like, that's kind of, like, that direction of this conversation I'm taking it to. Like, we have a habit of getting super duper ungrateful when we don't have what we want but we have everything we need and i think this time of year thanksgiving christmas time the end of the year starting on a new year in a couple weeks like this is the best time to like hone in on everything that you have and just show that like immense gratitude for it because dog that shit could be going so fast bro all these people out here at one point in time in their life had everything they needed just not what they wanted bro think about that not a, you don't come into this world homeless. i mean you do Technically. But you don't come into this world homeless, Nick. Something had to happen. Something went left in order for you to end up where you are. You feel me? So, like, bro, I'm never taking this shit for granted, dog. Every chance I have an opportunity to, like, give back, bro, I'm definitely going to make this a priority, bro. So, next year, I think next year I want to do, like, a collaborative thing with you guys. Maybe we do, like, a donation. The first, like, the last week of November and the first two weeks of December, we just, like, get as much, you know, bread donated as possible. So, you know, you guys can make your, you know, you guys can feel good about it because I feel great, bro. Like, I feel like I'm glowing, dog. My aura is glowing right now. I feel so good, bro. So, let's go home. Close this YouTube video out. Oh, man, I'm going to take this drive home just to kind of think, bro. Jesus Christ, that's crazy. This is just such a crazy experience. Fourth Quarter Diaries, bro. The end, the outro, dog. The outro. This is... crib bro i had a chance to really like drive back home and like reflect and i feel good dog. i'm gonna just leave it i feel great but that's the end of this video that's the end of the vlog bro. that's low-key the end of the year bro so i want to say thank you guys from the bottom of my heart again i said this in the beginning of this video but thank you guys so much for supporting me bro we hit 10,000 subs i think right now we're sitting at 10,200 so i again from the bottom of my heart i appreciate y'all so much but this video is about the giveaway for me so let's lock in on the giveaway so all you have to do make sure you're subscribed to this channel Make sure you like this video because I will check who likes this video as well. Drop the 100s emoji in the comments, bro. The more comments, the better. Um, the more comments, the more entries, basically. And you have a chance to win the I Am David Perkins mystery box. And inside the box will be you guys' own personalized journal. A $100 Visa gift card for you guys to spend at your leisure. Some drip from my sponsors. Uh, keep it in LA. I'm going to give you guys a hat. Maybe a graphic tee or two, some socks, a six pack of Alani's. And if you are a content creator, if you guys are in the space of being a creative, I'm gonna give you guys everything that's free on my website. So my LUT pack, my preset pack, my ebook, as well as the college wallpapers. You guys get all that. So again, I'm gonna repeat that for you guys again. So you have to like this video, comment the 100s emojis in this video. The more entries, the better. Make sure you're subscribed too, as well. And you have a chance to win the I Am David Perkins giveaway mystery box which again custom journal hundred dollar gift card some drip 
hat, shirt, socks, a six pack of Alani's, your flavor of choice, as well as all of the creative items on my website if you are a content creator. I'm gonna leave that up to you guys because I know if I pick a winner and they're not into content creation, then you guys obviously won't need it. But if you are, you'll get all that stuff for free, you feel me? So again, thank you guys, bro. That's 100K, that's 100 bands, we, or 100K. That's 10K. We did, see, I'm already practicing for when we break 100K subscribers, you feel me? But I appreciate you guys so much from the bottom of my heart, man. I hope y'all have um, a Merry Christmas. I hope y'all had a great Thanksgiving because I hadn't had a chance to tap in with y'all since Thanksgiving. So. The season forgive me, bro. Make sure you spend some time with your loved ones. Tell everybody that you genuinely appreciate that you love them, that you appreciate them, that, that they are some way, shape, or form a gift to you in your life. Makes sense. Whatever. Again, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. It's your boy Dave. Happy New Year's, Merry Christmas, the whole night. Happy Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa. You feel me? All that good stuff. You feel me? It's your boy. And I'm out. <sighs> now I'm out. <laughs>